is you've got to ask yourself this every week. And the key to ask yourself is if I look back over my last week, did I live in the emotion of the person that I'm choosing to become? Did I live in the emotion or did I let my past conditioning choose the emotion that I was to stay in? Does that make sense? Because it's the emotion that you control first. And hear this. It's the emotion that you control first. The first win is the inner win. And so, for example, if you're making cold calls and none of the cold calls are working, okay, it's still a win is if you make those cold calls with a big smile on your face feeling good about it, whereas a week ago you were shaking making those calls. And here's why it's a win. Your brain will move towards pleasure and away from pain. Your vibration will change. Everything will change because you're a new identity. However, the universe... The universe takes a while to show it to you in the 3D reality. When you plant a seed of a tree, you don't see a tree the next day. Okay, And this is just a rule. The rule says it has to be planted in one spot for a while. It takes a while. It grows roots. It waits. And then it starts. And it's shaky at the beginning. It can be easily root, uprooted and pulled out. It's shaky. The new identity is shaky. And then it's got to grow stronger and bigger and stronger until it's a big, powerful tree. And we've just got to remember that, Right is when you're making and creating the new identity is this is the time to double down, right? This is the time to really go, this is who I'm going to be. This is who I'm creating. And I know it's tough. I know it's hard because you're fighting against your natural conflicts, which is a great segue into today. So today is for it really for anyone and everyone who's ever felt a internal civil war has been happening. Has anyone ever felt the civil war between I want to make lots of money, but I don't want to be greedy. I want to make lots of money, but I also want to be relaxed and money is all about being overwhelmed. I want to have a great relationship, but I don't want to, I, I don't want to be in compromise. You know, I want to be, have a great relationship, but I also enjoy being single. I want to travel and experience and explore the world, but I, but I also just, Love having a house in one place. Is anyone here at all, type in a yes if it's you, ever had an internal civil war going on? And, you know, you, you, you like those cartoon characters with, uh, you know, the devil on one shoulder and then the devil nearly on the other shoulder or the, the angel. And, uh, um, and it, it's really, 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 really interesting that they both seem to want different things. True? Now, as a, as a person, you're not just one personality, okay? And this is going to be important for today's meditation, today's process, is that you're not just one personality. You're, you're lots of personalities. You're not the same person with your best friends as you are when you're on calls with me, as you are when you're hanging out with your family. And you're a different person at work. You're, you're a different person with different friends, some days you're a grumpier version of yourself. Other days you're an empowered version of yourself. And so it's interesting that the person we call Chris Duncan is many different personalities and same with you. Is it true? You're many different personalities. And, and it's just part of it. You know, there's the soft part of you. Then there's the warrior part of you. There's all of them. <laughs> there's lots, lots of different parts, probably more than 23 different parts. There, but there's lots. But but here's where you can get problems. You can get problems when, when parts want to do different things or have different needs. So, for example, there's a part of you that um, was, was never wanted to be rejected. And so that part of you puts a whole heap of pain on being rejected. And so its goal is, I don't want to be rejected no matter what. But then there's this other part of you that wants to be a successful business person. And then your business coach says, you have to stand in front of a room and put on a presentation. And so part of you goes, well, that seems like a good business move. Sounds logical. This other part of you goes, no way. 
And so you find all sorts of reasons to not do it. Make sense? You find all these reasons because this other part doesn't want to go. And then you, you tell that part off. You actually reject it even more. You say, why am I so scared? You reject that part of you and the civil war breaks out, you see? And this happens in so many different places. You know, sometimes there can be two completely healthy parts. You know, one part can want to experience life by traveling the world and another part wants to start a family. And there's a civil war going on. And so I just want you to, for a second, just to consider places or parts of you that there might be a civil war going on. And then maybe I just want you to type in uh, a few examples of some parts that maybe not for you, let's just have some fun, maybe for others. Let's just get our brains rolling with this and type into the chat box, tick, tick the all panelists and attendees. And let's type in some parts we think in conflict. So one part is uh, wanting to travel, one part wants to start a family. One part wants safety, one part wants freedom. Uh, or one part wants um, to be safe, one part wants to grow. I like it, bud, good one, nice. One part wants to be in a relationship, one part wants to be single. That would be a tough one to operate, all right? One part wants to be trusting, one part never wants to be hurt. Hmm. So yeah, so type in, yeah, yeah, type in. Let's, let's, um, let's experience this together. Cool, 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 cool. Move away, yet keep at home. One wants relationship, one wants freedom. One part wants successful, one wants status quo. Cool, fun and serious, <laughs> yeah. One wants to be in love, but one doesn't want to share time. Yeah, right. One wants to grab, hustle, and one wants to relax, yeah. Cool. Playing big, staying safe. Right, right. So we get it. We get it, don't we? There's, there's these, these conflicts that, um, that one can have. And so it's, uh, it's important that we, we learn this process to bring, bring ourselves together, okay? To bring ourselves together and, and operate from just one. Hey, Maya, nice to see you on. Good morning. <laughs> And so bringing these parts together is crucial because ask yourself this, if one part of you wants to have freedom and one part of you wants to stay safe, how are you able to get any sort of alignment with that sort of conflict? If one part of you wants family and the other part of you wants to travel, can you see the chaos that it would cause in someone to have these, these conflicting identities or personalities? Let me ask all of you and, and, and tick the, the send to all, what would be the result of somebody that had massive conflicting um, parts and uh, part personalities in their life? What would be the result? Type it in. I'd, like to, I'd love to hear. Stress, stuck, good. Good, yeah. Procrastination, push, pull. Yeah, one step forward, one step back, maybe break, breakdown, yeah. There'd always be an anxiety because they're always doing one thing, but then they're, they're criticizing the thing they're doing, thinking they should be doing something else. I get this a lot. One part wants to do what their family wants and one part wants to live true to themselves. Another one I hear from a lot of people is one part wants to follow the money, the safe route, and one just wants to live, take risks and go for it. You know, like these real big conflicts. I hear this a lot with artists and things like that, where they just get conflicted. One, one conflict that I also hear a lot is one part of them wants to be spiritual and another part wants to just make money. And, and so you guys can all understand that if you have these conflicts coexisting together, uh, this oscillation that can happen, there's stress that can happen, you're one foot in, one foot out, you try to do two things at once and get overwhelmed and, and all sorts of problems. And so when I first did this process, everything changed, everything. It was a big deal. I, I put on one, one side of me, 
I'm staring right at this version of me that wants to travel, have fun, be single, just experience the world, just make lots of money. And then this other part of me that wanted to be spiritual in a relationship, grounded, conscious, build a real business and stay in one spot. And I remember looking at these two parts of me, one wanting to be single, free, make lots of money, you know, all of these things over here. And then this one grounded, spiritual, connected, in a relationship, in love, all these things. And I literally, for before I did the process, it would be like, I'd go travel and make money and do all of this. And then I'd go, well, now I've got to be grounded. When I'm doing this thing, I'm judging this thing. When I'm doing this thing, I'm judging this. Now, let's all be clear. Both of those are completely fine options, aren't they? Like, who cares? Everyone's got a life to live. Both of these options are fine. I could just do this one, have fun, do da da da, make lots of money, explore, do what I want, right? But this one's good too. And, and they're both good. The problem is, is that they both were fighting. And so the process we go through today brings these two together. And, and when they come together, you'll kind of, you'll bring it in here and you'll go, wow, I can actually have both. Because here's what I realized when I did the process that what we're going to go through is this part here, the part that wanted to have fun, be single, make lots of money, travel the world. Really, when it came down to it, just wanted to have a really good life. And this part that wanted to be spiritual, be in a relationship, build a good business, be connected, be grounded. This one, it just really wanted to have a good life. And what happened when they both realized that they both just want to have a good life, this part realized, you know what? I'm a bit boring. I'm a bit grounded. I'm a bit settled. I'd like a bit of this fun travel, you know, ex exploring part, you know? And then this part was like, you know what? It's chaos over here. I don't have connection. I don't have long-term friendships. I'm going from one country to the other, to the other, to the other. You know what? I kind of like a bit of that. And what happened through the process is there was a happy medium. Does that make sense? There's a happy medium and that's what I've been living. Does this make sense? And so I want to ask you all, who feels like they've got some conflict, like a big two conflicts? Let's, let's start to type it out. What do you guys want to work on? And remember, we've got this recorded and we can do it many times, but we're going to go through a cool process. So here's what you need to do to, to go through the process. You need to choose two parts of your personality that are in conflict. Now, I would prefer that you guys write them in so I can see them. You don't have to have it on uh, so everyone else can see them. If you feel like uh, you want to keep it private, I won't, I won't call out your name, but I will give you some coaching to make sure that the parts are, are right. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to type in and start choosing, choosing two parts, okay? And what, what is the two parts inside of you that are, are most in conflict? Okay, the first one um, someone's typed in is be successful but scared to be seen. Nice. One spiritual, one wants success. Cool. Those are both good starts. It's a yes to both of those. I can see how those are in conflict. All right, guys, don't be scared to yell yours out. Type it in. You can change to just to just send it to just the panelist. That goes to just me. Part of me wants to go big and the other wants to stay out of the public eye. Good. I can see how those are in conflict. Well done. I won't call out your name if you send it in just to me, but I will read it out. I will make sure it's right. So just, just know you can send it in. But let's just get everyone to give it a go. Uh, having a successful quiet life, really stepping out there, making a massive difference. Wow, that's coming through for quite a few of you, isn't it? Traveling, one business requires me to stay here. The other one allows me to travel. Oh, nice. Right. Travel and then staying in one spot. Um, want freedom of the... So part of me wants to live in the country. Part of me wants to live in the city. Yeah, good. Um, make money and fear of failure. 
I'm not sure how are those are in are in conflict. They sound like they're the same thing. So one part wants to be. It's almost like one part believes and then one part is doubts. One part wants to make money. The other part just wants to, because the fear of failure part isn't in conflict with the make money part. Does that make sense? I'm looking for what's the conflict with the make money part. Yeah, what's that other one? Yeah, work on that for a second for me. What's the opposite of, what's the one that does that's in conflict with make money? I don't know if there's a part of you that doesn't want to make money, but you tell me if there is. You see what I'm trying to say? There has to be a part of you that wants the opposite. Push most of my time into keep my business running for spending um, my time with my partner. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good one. I can see that that would be a conflict. Believe in myself and then the other half um, believes I'm full of shit. Yeah, nice one. Got it. Got it. All right, cool. So it looks like I've pretty much got all of you uh, to, to type in. Okay, this is an eyes uh, open experience. Okay. And so what you're going to do is, and I'll guide you through, what you're going to do is you're going to have your arms held out just like this. Okay, just in front of you. And you'll see that my elbows are just tucked under like this. Okay. So you're going to need to have your phone down, you're going to be able to listen to me. Now what, what's going to happen is okay, you're just going to bring them out, you're not going to have your hands out too wide, you're just going to kind of have them in front of you. You're going to imagine, and I'm going to guide you through it. I'm just telling you how it works right now. So I'm going to guide you through in a second. You're going to imagine that one part, whichever one, is going to come out on this hand, and you're going to look at it. Now, it's important that you look at it because of the way your neurons work. It's important that you associate it here, okay? I can explain it later. Just trust me. You're going to imagine that part coming out there. And so I would imagine the part of me that just wants to travel, have fun, be single. And when I would look at that, I'd see me with my backpack on, my laptop in it, and I'd be living the billionaire backpack lifestyle, billionairebackpacker.com. That would be my website. And I could, uh, I could imagine, imagine that guy sitting right there. And then what I would do is I would then hold out my other hand here. And on this other hand, I would have grounded, spiritual, Chris, centered, in a great relationship, He's leading amazing seminar. Like I can see this other version here, really grounded, just really spiritual. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both of these. I'm going to make a picture. I'm going to imagine them. Okay. And then what we're going to do, there you go. That's the right one. I saw you just type that in is I'm going to ask you questions of each for each one. Okay. And you're just going to look at this one and I'm going to ask questions and you're going to just hear and notice what answers come back. Okay. Remember, these are parts of you. So you know the answers. These are parts of you. What's going to happen is as I ask questions, they're both going to kind of start to realize that they want the same thing. And as they start to want to realize the same thing, your hands will start coming closer together like this. And as they come closer together, at some point, they're going to touch. And when they touch, okay, or when I say, now that your hands are touching. So if they touch by themselves, great. If not, I'll say, now bring your hands together and let them touch to signal that the parts want to come together. And then you're just going to put your hands up on your chest just like this and just close your eyes and just relax for a few minutes, okay? It's a big process. When you're done with the process, just type in like, Chris, that was awesome, done, blah, 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 okay? So everyone type in a yes when you're ready or a Y or a dot or make some sort of noise or put the little hand up thing. It means you need to have your, get your hands ready and we will, uh, we will give, this a, give this a go, shall we? <laughs> I see a few of you did more than one thing. Your hand went up, you said yes. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, looks like that is all of you. Awesome. Okay, so go ahead and hold your, your hands out from the elbows, palms up, okay? And I'd like you to look down at your right hand and I wanna ask which part wants to come out on, on this? Which part is ready to come out on your right hand? 
And as you let it come out on your right hand, I want you just to notice, what does it look like? Does it look, sound, or feel like anyone you know? Great. Great. Just notice what it's like as it's there. Is it a blob? Is it an image? Is it a sound? Is it a person? Great. Now, on the other hand, I want you to look into your left hands now. And I'd like the, the other part. So I'd like to talk to the part that's in conflict. The flip side of the coin, the opposite number. Could that part come out on the other hand? And who, who or what does this part look like? Does it look, sound, feel like someone you know? Is it a younger version of you, an older version of you, a family member? Is it a blob? What is it? Nice. And so just stay connected, eyes down, looking at the part throughout this whole process, okay? I'd like to ask this part, what is the intention of its behavior? What's its purpose? And as you receive the answer, I'd like you to ask it, and what's the purpose of that? And as you get the answer, I want you to ask, and what's the good intention behind that? What's the good intention? And then I'd like you to ask it, why is that important? And every time you get an answer from this part, I want you to keep asking it for what? purpose for what purpose for what purpose what's the good intention behind that for what purpose and keep asking that demand it to share its highest purpose what is its highest intention Great. And now let's talk back to the right hand. I want you to connect and look at this part. And I'd like you to ask it, what's its purpose? What's its purpose? And what's the good intention of that? And sometimes negative intentions for safety are there for preservation. So just keep asking, well, what's the good intention of that? For what purpose? Why do you want that? You'll notice as the parts notice that they want the same thing, your hands will start coming closer together. I know it's weird. But I'd like you to keep asking this part on your right hand, what's its purpose? For what purpose? Why do you want that? And as you ask this, just notice that both part wants the same thing. Both of them want the exact same things. Have you noticed that yet? Stay associated to the parts. Notice that both parts were once part of a larger whole, a larger person. If there are any other parts who are once part of the larger whole, can you ask if they would like to join in on this integration? What resources or attributes does each part have the other part would like to have? Stay associated, stay focused. If your hands are coming close to together, just let that happen. Let's talk back to the left hand, the left part. Remember its purpose. Remember what was written down. If your hands come together and they touch, just take both hands and put them against your chest. Ask this part, ask the part on your left hand for everything that you've said, what purpose? What's the good intention of everything you said? Ask this part if it notices that the other part wants the same thing. There is one overall goal. That's right. For everything you've said, what's the purpose? 
So now I'd like you, Magnetic Mind attendee, to switch between parts, associate into your right hand, ask its purpose. For everything it said, what purpose? And then look back into your left hand and ask what purpose? You'll notice they want the same thing. You'll notice that they start coming closer and closer together. It's weird, isn't it? Just please allow and notice that both parts want the same thing, right? Can they both understand that they were once part of a larger whole? They once were together. What is the overall intention of both parts? What good can they see in the other part that would feel so much better to come together? Let your hands come closer together. And as they do, if they touch, just bring them up to your chest. What is the purpose? What is the overall purpose for both parts on either hand? Mm. I'd like you to slowly allow your hands to come together or to bring them together yourself. Only as fast as you can notice that both parts are part of a larger whole and it's going to feel much better when everyone's working together. Notice how life can be much easier if everyone's getting what they want. And as they do, just bring them together until they touch. And when they touch, close your eyes and bring your hands up to your chest. And as you do, just allow the parts to reintegrate back into the whole again. And notice what it feels like to realize that you can have everything you want. And just close your eyes and feel into that. What is it that you truly want in life? How is it that you can have everything now? What would it feel like to be able to have everything you desire and feel so good? Just consider it. If you're, if you're done, type in, let me know how you're going or you went. If you're still going, just keep your eyes closed for another minute or so. How was it? How do you feel? Done, great. United, awesome. Fill me in. Softer inside, great. <laughs> Gave you a pulsing in your chest when you brought them together, feels connected. Nice. All done. Integrated. Peace. Feel at peace within. Feel relieved. Good. 
That is cool. It is cool, David. Yeah, very cool. It's a very, very, very cool process. If you haven't typed in yet and your eyes are still closed, just come back to me and just let me know I'm integrating if you just want some space. But I just love to hear from you because <laughs> as if I had an orgasm of the soul. Can I, can I have that as a testimonial? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's a, there's a first one for everyone. I want to get doing now, integrating. Great job. Great job. Great job. Hey, Deb, saw you just jump back in. Orgasm of the soul does sound awesome. My hands were heavy during the process with pins and needles. With, with me? <laughs> is, that, is that about the, the orgasm of the soul? <laughs> Everyone's going to be expecting that now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Deb, the... Um, oh, awesome. May I enjoy your time with your client? That sounds fine. Um, Deb, if you want to listen to the recording, that would be great. But also the meditation. So before you go, Maya... Uh, no, she's already gone. Um <laughs> just uh the the meditations are the parts integration um that is in the the bonus one and then also the yeah cool 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 well that we just did that the version of that um yeah well, give me send me some so so send me some context david on um whether it's uh it's right for me to jump on or one of my teams so just give me some give me some context send me a facebook message uh, which is good. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cool. Cool. So here's the point of today's uh, session. You can have it all. And the meditation for this week is bringing all parts of you back together. Bring all the parts of you back, back together. Does that sound good? Here's my, my total desire for you this week. My total desire is to clean up any parts of you that are in your old identity. Is that fair? Does that sound like a good week? This week, let's focus on this two different variations plus the one I did here. And, and honestly, I think the one I did today was probably the best, Hannah. I don't know. I really, I really nailed it today. <laughs> but I say that lots of times. But I honestly, who who thinks I nailed it today? Just, just, just humor me. No, don't. But I think today was really great. And um, the the ones on the the website are also good too. <laughs> um, they were also they're also good too. And so, <laughs> well, I think I nailed it. I mean, I just think it's true. <laughs> um. My, my goal for today is to, to bring up, to, to bring the past through and to, to allow a lot of the, the old conflicts to, to move into a state where they can have what they desire. Mm -hmm.